What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 9,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But we are actually just rolling up to the launch and it is a gorgeous morning here on Lake St. Clair. I think it's like 6.30 here on Lake St. Clair and we are pretty excited to be out here. It is just a gorgeous morning. The birds are chirping and you guys know what that means. The smallmouth are chewing. We're pretty excited about it today. We are just getting out here. There is a couple other guys here and I think today is the day we are gonna land a six pounder. Right now all those smallmouth bass are moving into little bays and they're spawning. So we're gonna be fishing for a lot of spawning smallmouth bass today and I think we are gonna catch a tank. But me and my dad and Clint are out here and hopefully we can catch one giant. That is the goal today. Or just to catch a bunch of fish and have some fun. So we're gonna get out there. Um, we are getting the boat ready right now, but check this out, guys. This, this view out here on St. Clair is just amazing. The water is like glass today. And we are here ready for action. I actually woke up this morning at like four. I was so excited to get out here. Hopefully stick a big one today and we will see you guys out there on the GoPro. So guys, we are just getting out here to Lake St. Clair and it is a gorgeous morning here, but we are just getting out here to the bay and I am starting off with this Bile Spawn Exo Swim. It's got a ton of action on it. We're working in three and a half foot right now. There should be a ton of smallies in here right now. The smallies are starting to spawn here on Lake St. Clair. So we're gonna be throwing around a bunch of different baits today, probably tubes, swim baits, just a bunch of different stuff. But I'm starting off with this swim bait because I have been absolutely crushing them the past like couple weeks on this swim bait. If you guys have been watching my videos lately, I won a big tournament on this bait. So I'm gonna be throwing this around, hopefully get on a couple big ends today. Hopefully that six pounder, but let's catch them. Fourth. <laughs> I just watched that. Oh, there is a hit. Nice. Yeah, he drilled it. First blood, get him. Yeah. Yeah, I just watched it again a couple days ago. He did an incredible job on that deck. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Shit. Yeah, fish on first fish of the day guys first smallie we are just getting here in muscomute bay and hopefully we can stick some big ones today this isn't a giant but it's the first fish of the day we're breaking the first fish so that's awesome on that swim bait right there that bile spawn exo swim he probably hit it like two or three times before I got a good solid hook set on him. But right there on that swim bait, he hit it hard. Beating out the old guys already. <laughs> All right, see ya. Clint's hooked up. Good, nice small he got. It's a dark looking one, huh? Yeah, nice fish. So I switched up to a little bit smaller finesse swim bait. Seems to be working better in the shallow water with these spawning fish. Usually you're throwing like a 3 8 ounce. And this is, I don't know, it's really light though. It just allows you to roll it really slow. They've been liking it. Nice fish. Hey. Fish on. Big one. Back. That is a tank. Oh. It's a tank. Yeah. Oh. Nice one, Dad. Yeah, that's a toad. Feisty. Spawned out already, eh? Kong Daddy. Or Pegasaurus! <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Sweet. Nice fish, Nate. 
Yeah, almost four and a half. It's a tank. Right yeah, nice fish, Dad. All right, we're gonna turn loose. There he goes. Oh! Giant rat! Yeah, holy crap! You were kidding, Dean. That's a big ass. <laughs> he drilled it, guys. Big rock bass. Check that out. He almost swallowed the whole freaking swim bait. That's hilarious. Big old rocky. He's hungry. That must, must have been what hit it before. He hit it like three times. Yeah, hit him. Oh, you got He's a fatty. Uh, like a chrome. Fish on. Fish on. Drop shot. Flatworm. Pretty good one. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Yeah. Oh, double. Fish doubled up. <laughs> doubled up. They're here, guys. Yeah, it's a tank, Clint. Let me get the oh, looks like a good one. Go chartreuse too. Good two pounder. Lens hooked up again on the drop shot. It looks like a pretty nice one, too. That's a beautiful smell. Like Not a monster, but nice one. You got it again. They're destroying this flatworm. Nice little guy. Awesome. Seems like they're heating up a little bit now that the sun's getting up. It's kind of slow this morning, but we're starting to get them now. Well, guys, I just switched over to the tube. Uh, my dad and Clint's both got some smallies on the tube so far. I've been throwing that swim bait for a little while, so I'm switching over to the tube. Hopefully it catches me some fish my dad's throwing the jerk bait right now i think clint's got a drop shot and i got a tube on so he got a couple different baits on the boat right now <laughs> yeah we probably have 25 30 rods on the deck right now loaded up with as many baits as possible as many baits we could think of. We're ready for the day. Fish. Rocky. They're loaded up in here. Dang. The heck? It's a big Rocky. Rock bass. See ya. What, what happened when I caught that? What's up, man? How are you? All right, sir. You crushing them? Yeah, we're catching a lot of Rockies, but we've caught a decent amount of Smallies so far this morning. Oh, did you really? Yeah, How? Dang, that's a tank. What do you catch it on? Uh, swim bait. Sweet. Lake, Lake Sweet. Well, that's awesome. Congrats. Are you, you guys catch them on swim baits this whole time. I'm like, man, I finally got up here this week and I'm like, I'm going to swim bait. Hell yeah, they like the swim bait out here. Where are you from? What's that? Where are you from? 
Oh dang. That's a ride. Yeah. Worth it though. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Yeah, that's a smallie. Yeah. Fish on, guys. Well, guys, I just set the hook on a pretty nice smallmouth bass. We just rolled up to this spot. We're just moving spots. We probably moved over a couple hundred yards and we're working in like two to three foot of water. And I just cast it out of that tube jig right there. And he drilled at first cast right here too. So that's pretty cool. But we're having a blast out here today. We're catching a decent amount of fish too so far. And hopefully we can stick that six pounder today. That's the goal for me and Clint and my dad. But really nice one. Dang. Destroying them on the drop shot. Not a monster, but another good one. Yeah. Nice fish. Hooked up. Fish on. Okay. It's a nice one, guys. He drilled that tube. Nice one. All right, guys, really nice smallie. He just destroyed that tube jig right there. Pretty nice one, probably a maybe two pounder, two and a half pounder. Yeah. Small off. He is a six pounder. What? Giant one just took off this way. I don't know if it's a small one. Yeah, dang. <laughs> oh, dang. He's dancing like crazy. Yeah, that's a cool looking one. Yeah. Well, guys, I am hooked up on a smallmouth bass. We actually just moved spots. And we are down here on the south end of the lake. And first couple casts, I just drilled this really nice smallmouth bass. He drilled that tube, just dragging it along bottom. Beautiful smallie, guys. These, this one's pretty cool, too. I was railing it in. He probably jumped out of the water like four or five times trying to spit that tube right there. But really nice one, guys. All right, guys. Releasing that fish back. Oh, there he goes. Back to the beds. Holy crap, that was sweet. Good one. 
salad in there. You got a little swim bait? Little uh, power minnow. It's kind of like the flatworm, but it's a uh, it's the minnow. Just left it in the bed. She come up and plucked it out. She said nope. Put her back so she can go back to her bed. Tried to Canadian croppers. Almost as big as one you know. Fish on! Thumbs up! Oh! No. Should have just grabbed him. Football, I'm in. <laughs> That's a tank, Clint. That's a dandy. Another nice one. Good job. Fish out. They're hitting my net rig. I got a little baby craw on there. I just put it on. I changed. 20 pound tusk floral to 12 pound leader. Like it's working. Little crawl, guys. Nice fish. Yeah, it was. Whoa. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. Well, guys, I was just flipping to a bed. I just put on a drop shot. Clint hooked me up with a drop shot, but I have a freaking tank on right now. Oh. Oh, holy crap. Probably the my biggest fish today. Oh, check that out. It's got a tube jig coming out of its butt. <laughs> See that, Dad? Yeah. What the heck? See that, Clint? <laughs> check that out right there. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, guys. Beautiful smallmouth bass right off that bed, too. That's crazy, but check that out. Big tube jig coming right out of there. That's crazy. Must have swallowed a big tube jig, but... Really nice fish, guys. That's awesome. Love getting out here. When you can see these smallies on beds and just cast right up to them and they'll destroy your bait. But that's a freaking tank. Beautiful smallie. Just cast it to his bed. It took a minute, but he finally came back and I jigged it once and he come roaring in on it. Good fish. Nice fish. Turn loose. Fish out. Just got this one off the bed, guys. Come right out on it. Pretty good sized fish. See him out there? I only had two colors in the boat, was watermelon red and a California or Canadian craw. That's a big one. I'm at the toad. Pigasaurus. Nice fish. He's a dandy.
That's a beautiful small holly. Nice one. Really good color to him, huh? Yeah, a little darker fish out here. There you go. 